second I, I need to get my story straight. Since they're cold-blooded animals, they don't have the same metabolism that we have, so they only actually have to eat once a week. So on Fridays, we warm up some mice and we give them their mice. They're frozen first and then thawed out, kind of like most of the meat we eat. And as long as they have fresh bedding and fresh water and some lights to warm them, one of the snakes has a heating pad because she's a tropical species, so she has to stay warm all the time. The other one just has a daylight and you turn it off because they're supposed to get more like, you know, what's outside around here. I have had Sasha for going on five years, and she was an adoptee from a family. And then I've had Rosie for going on four years, and she was also an adoptee that I sort of have got at a, um, at a conference from a breeder, but he had her from a family who didn't want her anymore because she just sat there in a ball. A student let themselves into my classroom one afternoon when I was not here and got out Rosie and she's super sweet everybody loves to hold her but said person who will remain unnamed but they know who they are um, did not clip the lid back appropriately so it clips in two places because much of snakes don't have hands or thumbs they are very 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 muscular and so she was able to nose the lid open and to get out and then she got into the cabinetry at the side of my room and we had to take it all apart and lure her out with a rat and it was it's a very stressful day are you excited for the soccer game tonight yeah i can't wait to go we're gonna go kick sales butt are you going to the game tonight i am going to the game tonight because i'm so pumped i'm gonna wear my hair up real crazy and i'm gonna paint up and i'm gonna wear like Black, it's gonna say Lambert, soccer on it, win forever. Counting, counting.